Hey everyone, this is Blake here with Public Water Marine, and uh, this year we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests from a bunch of people saying they wanted to see YouTube videos of what's going on here in the shop. And this time of year, obviously duck season is about to be in full swing, and we are working on this year's duck rig. Last year we went with the 18 foot side console. It was a I would say it was a crest it was a crest liner 18 foot with a Honda 115 on the back. And let me tell you, that was a great boat. I, I really enjoyed it. Everybody that hunted with me, they just couldn't get enough of it. I mean, they really loved it. And highly recommend it. It's just 18 foot. You're hunting with six guns. Just, I feel like I was losing it a little bit. You know, it's, it's hard to hide six people, especially if these people aren't going every day. They don't know how to hide. And um, now that I have Porter here, we can leave whenever. And that, that's going to be our goal. We just, we're going to find out where the ducks are. We're going to drop what we're doing and leave. So that brings me to where we're at right now. Um, I'm going to do a quick little rundown on what we have created here in the last few days. Porter will be doing a little while, but um, this year's duck rig is going to be the final attack, beaver tails, and uh, we're going to make them kind of like a layout series. Be hunting a lot of open water. We're going to bring them out of states. So we're going to try to make this trail look really cool for everybody. And um, I don't know, it's just becoming a part of public water now is our yearly duck boat. Let's see what happens. Taking the old tires off. I say she's still good there, buddy. Just a little bit of uh, sand for lubrication. She's done. That's done. That's not how you do it if you want to save it. Porter's trying to figure out our bunk situation. So as you can see, I went through and just hung these up with a string, nothing special here, but I'm gonna paint these trailer parts separately just so I can get the most out of my trailer. I think this rig's gonna look pretty good, Bo. Got Porter over here installing these little bunks, these little side steps. This is a old pontoon light that I took out a while back. Uh, we replaced it with some new recessed lights, so I just have a few of those laying around the shop. I only found one that worked. Um, I got this old light bar from last year's duck season. I'm about to put it on the back of this toolbox right here. Hopefully it'll be able to give us some more light when we're backing down the boats, or at least see what we're doing at night. Trail lights wired in. We went with the uh, original trailer lights, saved some money there. Porter, how you feeling right now about this build? Dude, I'm super pumped because this right here turned out like 14 times better than I thought it was going to. And I was already expecting 100%, so that's some radicalized numbers that I can't even do math on right now. Yeah, both boats came out even, giving the props to Porter. He did that, and then out of, you know, we did not plan really. I just started like bolting up, or bolting stuff up. I'm about to bleep that. Okay, and if you check it out, the light bar made it. I don't know how, but we made it happen. Right there. That's all you need to see. Woo! 
The toolbox opens. It's getting too spicy up in here. You know, we are about to slay a few ducks this year. If we don't, at least we look good trying. This is the original drawing Porter did on this piece of cardboard. And I'd say it's pretty good. You got the two attacks. Then you go to the toolbox. And then we're supposed to be putting something right here. I don't know what we're gonna put there yet. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you everything we've done to this trailer. We've installed the little light right here. It's gonna be shining on the toolbox. It's not the brightest light in the world, but hopefully it'll give us a little bit of light so we can see what we're doing when we're working on the final tacks or having to work on the outboards or anything. We, we try to have light everywhere. It's just a bit more, way more convenient than having a headlamp or something you gotta get. We installed this spare tire. This came with the trailer. Uh, we cleaned it up. It was looking pretty rough, but some 303 to it and it cleaned it up looking good. Got some degreaser on the wheel. I mean, it could be cleaned up a little bit more, but from distance, I'd say it looks new. Hopefully we don't have to use that, right? But um, as we go on, you can see we painted it, uh, rewired the trailer, installed the toolbox. The toolbox has the switch panel inside of it. We just put some switches in there, nothing special. Did not take a lot of time to make it look pretty. All right, so this will conclude the first public water video ever on YouTube. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I hope y'all are too. And I wanna continue to do videos for y'all. If uh, y'all like what you see, we're gonna do another one here coming up on the final attacks when we paint them. Um, I have yet to see a really good video on the final attacks on YouTube. So I'm, I'm really gonna try to show you what I've done here. Um, there's some stuff I haven't showed you on the final attacks that we did previously for uh, early teal season just to make sure we were legal. We installed some nav lights and I have to have some kind of lights in the boat because headlamps are something I can't ever keep up with. So interior lights were the first thing I did and then Porter, he, he's already kind of went on his, his wiring's a little bit off right now. But we've been trying to do this and, you know, continue to make sure that everybody's el everybody else is on the water and, and is having a good time and not having any boat problems. I mean,